Hello, this is Kush Sharma from smoothblogging.com. Welcome back to the How to Start a Blog series. This is part four. This is where we set up the hosting service that we bought in the previous part. Okay, so let's get started. Now, what you need to do is we talked about this email that you receive from HostGator when you purchase the service. Uh, the, the title would be your account info and you get this. Now, we save some of this information in a notepad. If you remember, if you, even if you haven't done that, that's fine. You can copy paste it. You can copy paste the stuff from here. So let's just get started quickly. What I want you to do is this, this is a very important step. Okay. I want you to go to namecheap.com, the site from which you registered your domain name in part two. Okay. Once you're there, you just log in and I want you to go on domains here and click on manage domains. Okay. Once you do that, you would uh, you would come down to a page which will show the list of dom domains that you have so i just want you to select the domain name right now you just might be having one okay because you just started uh, you know buying domains so that's fine so you just have one domain name there you just click on it and you'll see this page okay once you're on this page what i want you to do is i want you to go to the second option here domain name server setup and just click on it okay you'll see this page select this radio button specify custom dns servers okay now in the first box i want you to take this the first name server just copy and paste similarly take the second name server and paste it in the second box okay so second name server take it just copy it and paste it on the second box and click on save changes now what we are basically doing here is that we are pointing our domain to our hosting service so we're basically integrating them both okay so they function as a unit now because you bought your domain name from a different company than what is provide then your host pro uh, hosting service provider okay so this is namecheap and your hosting so service provider is hostgator so we need to integrate these both that's why we that's why we did this step okay that's all you need to understand for this okay so you just click on save changes and you'll be done okay now to, you know for this to get integrated sometimes it can take up to 24 hours as it says here but I've seen most of the times it just happens in a few hours okay but you don't have to worry about that right now what you need to do is now you just need to go to this email okay and you see this your control panel right you just click on this link which was given here and what you see is you see this control panel login okay you have your username you have your password okay you just enter them here and you click on login okay now what I want you to do is I want you to go under the section called the mail section this is your control panel the host kettle control panel once you scroll down a bit you'll see the section called mail just click on email accounts so now on this page what you should do is and this drop down, drop down menu you just select your domain name you will probably just have one because you just started out so just select that domain and what we're doing here is we're creating an email account for our site okay so give it something like contact okay so this is the email we're creating contact at bodyweightzone.com okay just give it a password okay uh, click on unlimited here even though you can select 500 MB it's always better to go for the unlimited option and just click on create account okay so your account is created now what I want you to do is I want you to go just just click on home I want you to go and click on forwarders under again okay, again under mail just click on forwarders okay now what you should do is click on add forwarder okay okay so now you just write contact here because that's the email that we made and uh, you know and just select your domain name from this drop down menu and just forward just click on this forward to email address and write an email that you normally use for yourself now why are we doing this is that the interface the email interface provided by hostgator is not really user friendly you know it's, it's a big pain to check emails when you use the hostgator control panel it's always better to forward the emails that you get on this email to your normal email address okay which might be on gmail yahoo or any other popular provider that you're on okay it makes it really easy to check your mails because this this will be really important later on when we develop facebook twitter you know pages for your blog 
you'll get these confirmation emails that you have to click the link on to get confirmed it's all easy when it comes to your own provider you know so we're just forwarding all the emails which come here to this okay so now you just click on add forwarder and it's done okay so that's about it i'll see you in the next part where we install wordpress okay take care